Today we will learn the construction of a right angle triangle when the length of one of its legs and hypotenuse is given. You might recall that if the hypotenuse and one side of a right angle triangle is equal to the hypotenuse and one side of another triangle respectively, then both the triangles are congruent. This rule of congruency is also known as the RHS congruency criterion. So far, we have learned the construction of triangles based on SSS criterion, SAS criterion and ASA criterion. Now, we will construct a triangle based on the RHS criterion. Suppose, we have to construct a right angle triangle ABC. In ABC, the measure of angle B is 90 degree, the length of the hypotenuse AC is 5.7 cm and the length of the side BC is 4.5 cm. Let us construct a triangle ABC with the given measurements. Step 1. First of all, we will draw a rough figure of triangle ABC with the given measurements and mark the given measurements on it. Drawing a rough figure gives us an idea of how a triangle can be formed. Step 2. Here, the length of the side BC is 4.5 cm. Therefore, we will draw a line segment of length 4.5 cm with the help of a ruler. We will name this line segment BC. This line segment is the side BC of triangle ABC. Step 3. Since angle B measures 90 degree, we will draw a ray BX which is perpendicular to the line segment BC at point B. We can construct this by marking a point at 90 degree using the protractor and draw a ray BX passing through it. Where should the point A be situated on the ray BX? Can you tell how to find the position of the point A? Think for a while. You got it right. We know that hypotenuse AC is equal to 5.7 cm. Let's get the position of the point A with the help of this. Step 4. The length of the hypotenuse AC is 5.7 cm. This means that the vertex A is at a distance of 5.7 cm from the vertex C. So, to determine the position of the vertex A on ray BX, we will measure a radius of 5.7 cm on the compass and draw an arc on the ray BX with point C as the center. Step 5. The arc intersects the ray BX at a point. The point of intersection is the point A. Therefore, now we will join the vertex A and the vertex C from which we will get side AC of triangle ABC. In this way, we have completed the construction of triangle ABC in which the measure of angle B is 90 degree, the length of the hypotenuse AC is 5.7 cm and the length of the side BC is 4.5 cm. Similarly, if we construct a triangle RPQ in which angle P is equal to angle B is equal to 90 degree, hypotenuse RQ is equal to AC is equal to 5.7 cm and the side PQ is equal to BC is equal to 4.5 cm, then the obtained triangle RPQ will be congruent to triangle ABC. That is, if we place triangle RPQ on triangle ABC, then we will be able to see that triangle RPQ covers the triangle ABC completely. That is, both the triangles are of the same size and shape, which means triangle RPQ and triangle ABC are congruent. Thus, we can say that by using the RHS criterion, we get a unique triangle. So today we learned the construction of a right angle triangle when the length of one of its legs and the length of its hypotenuse is given. In the next video, we will see some examples related to this.